Good morning, folks. We've got a bombshell study out of NASA and CIMG Vienna. We've got a look at a powerful storm heading at New Zealand today and peek in on NOAA's Space Weather Comedy Act. Let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com. We find the last 24 hours on our star looking fairly quiet across most of the Earth-facing disk. No sunspots, no solar flares, but you may have noticed the action where we zoomed in at the opening. Did indeed get a nice little CME just as the sunspot group had entered the far side. Now, Since that CME is aimed four months ahead of our orbit, let's come back to the coronal holes. We are inside the stream from this opening and it appears it will continue for a number of days. We should expect this ramp up to remain and overnight we did get a brief geomagnetic storm. Hopefully you saw that your app beat all NOAA notifications of that storm by about 10 minutes. Now let's come back to NOAA for another look at their Enlil spiral, as we're now into our second day with the intensification shown in yesterday and the day before's programs. Their model is still not showing that rise in solar wind speed until tonight, as though they have no access to real-time solar wind data. I cannot offer even a guess as to what the issue is here. Oh well, moving on. We're back to spaceweathernews.com, scrolled down to the long-term data telemetry, showing us coming out of the largest electron deficit of the entire year. Came back up in time to juice up the conference this weekend, or at least that's what I'm telling myself. And now we're on to the top story. There is now another international team suggesting an electromagnetic earthquake trigger. Using numerous methods, a team from NASA's research division and CIMG Vienna have correlated large seismic events with KP index, a direct measure of solar storm effect on our planetary system. In going through the paper, it is clear they know just about everything in this realm, all of the papers that you've already seen over the last few years, including the citation of our foundational work with Drs. Uyen and Holloman. Thank you for that one, guys. Long story short, the sun triggers earthquakes. Welcome to the party. And if you recall that bit about earthquakes and volcanoes in the magnetic reversal series, well, a weaker shield means more disruptions and injection of energy, so perhaps add today's paper to that video in your mind. If you need a refresher, we've got the entire magnetic reversal series linked for you below this video, along with today's new paper. As we watch the most significant weather system on Earth heading at New Zealand today, please note that we're getting back in the swing here after the conference and back to normal by tonight over at quakewatch.net. We've got your wind maps and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 5.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.